going to start off with the almanac again because we're going to talk about temperatures. Those temperatures it's supposed to be in the upper 60s, just under 70. We may not bad, right? We'll call it about even a few degrees off. Same thing for the overnight lows, calling it a bit even. Now things will get a little warmer. I'll show you what that looks like in the seven day, but let's tell the story about the temperatures. You're seeing them in the 50s, 160 on the map, which is in Dunkirk. Giving you the wider view, we're seeing all this green but the temperatures are a little bit warmer as you head further west. Now I'm going to give you the 6 to 10 day outlook. Let's zoom things in. You're seeing a little bit of this orange here. Now this means that the temperatures will be above normal, but because it's not that red, the chances of it being above normal will just, I'll show you in the seven day, it's looking more kind of seasonable than those warm fall temperatures that some of us get excited about. Let's take a look at seven super Doppler, those showers that we saw earlier. Man, it really made those skies gray. They're finally moving off to the east, not being a problem for us. Let's zoom things out. We've got some dry air. Because this front moved through, it is going to kick up some lake action. I was talking to someone yesterday, and they're like, I've never really heard of lake effect rain. Well, it's a thing. Washington versus Bills. Bills go Bills. It's not really going to ruin your game. If we see a shower at 10 AM, so what? Just bring the rain gear. Nothing to worry about. Look at that breezy conditions as you get into the afternoon and into the evening. Look at those winds anywhere between 10 to 20 miles an hour being dry for the uh, second half of the day. Let's go through the future cast. We're going to stop in the morning seeing some sunshine. Now I'm going to give you a caveat as we go throughout the day. You're seeing you see those batch of clouds that just came in. Some models are picking up rain on this, so I wouldn't be surprised if between the 10 to 11 o'clock hour you're seeing some rain around that Hamburg area, Hamburg Orchard Park, the stadium area. So don't get mad if you see that. Now, if it doesn't happen, great. Whatever guys you pray to, it worked. Now let's get to 4 p.m. It's a bit breezy. Those clouds have been on the increase. You'll continue to see some more cloudy conditions. The breezes start to relax as you get into the overnight, but we're not done with the breezes just yet. Getting into Sunday, Monday rather, morning, starting it off, you know, pretty breezy with a few showers that came in and then went. You'll see some more of those showers coming in the evening. You see how they just came in from the north and making their way south as they make their way south they're going to fizzle out now let's sum things up tonight partly cloudy chilly those temperatures are in the upper 40s to low 50s you're going to start it off a bit chilly tomorrow morning with sunshine then we'll get clouds on the increase like i said between that 10 to 11 o'clock hour don't be surprised if you see a shower clip the stadium area after that those winds are going to pick up and those temperatures will be quite mild for this time of year remember the high is just under 70 for the normal then We'll be right under 70. Don't be surprised if you get some 70s in there. It'll be a little warmer with some sunshine. We continue with that dry stretch. Perfectly sunny on Wednesday, almost 70 there. As you go into the second half of that week, those temperatures will start their gradual ascent as you go into the weekend.